is our tail of the tape for our light heavyweight battle. The buffer fight before we get to our heavyweight final. Luis Tavares in the prime of his career, 28 years old. He has a half inch reach disadvantage, but is an inch taller than Artur Gorlov. Professional experience, big advantage for Luis Tavares. And you gotta think the KO percentage, slight edge for Arthur Gorlov. Ladies and gentlemen, your co-main event scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner, a WKN world champion. He comes with a professional record of 23 wins with six losses. 10 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He makes his glory debut tonight. Standing six feet four and one half inches, 1.94 meters. He weighed in at 208.6 pounds, 94.6 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Latvia, please welcome Artur Golov. His opponent standing on my right and fighting out of the white corner. A European champion and a light heavyweight and heavyweight world champion. As a professional, 59 wins with just seven losses. 22 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet three and one half inches, 1.92 meters. And he weighed in at fight time at 207.7 pounds, 94.2 kilos. He fights tonight out of Rotterdam, the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Luis, the infamous And once again, your referee in charge of the glory ring is John Axwood. Okay, guys, I want a clean fight. Break is break, stop is stop. Any questions? This crowd expects a win from Tavares, and they expect a knockout. We'll see if the infamous can pick up number 60 here tonight. Artur Gorloff, though, with a big guy in his corner. Yep, he's got Arthur Koshenko, who's fought for glory, who's fought a lot of good fights in his career, so a lot of experience in Gorloff's corner. He helps train Lomachenko sometimes. He's got a fight over the United States tonight. Vasily Lomachenko, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world. Right now, all eyes on Rotterdam and Luis Tavares' return to glory. Yeah, he's coming out as a southpaw as well. You're going to see him switching stances, but deciding to start as a southpaw. Crowd has gotten very quiet, anticipating what they hope will be a good win here for Tavares. Oh. And Gorlov's not intimidating. You ask him, him about Tavares. He says, I do everything better than he does. Nice quick combo. And I got to say, one of the best things Tavares does is his power punching, especially on the inside. Gorlov starting well with those kicks. Tavares not only a light heavyweight champion at a smaller organization, also went up and won the heavyweight title, Joe. Two division champ. Yep, as I mentioned, has a win over Jafar Wilness. But for glory, he wants the, the light heavyweight division. He wants Artem Vahitov. Nice shots there from Gorlov. Good start to, from Gorlov. Well, they didn't put him in easy against Tavares. But he does not seem to be intimidated in the least. Nope, he's boxing well, mixing his kicks well. Tavares told us there's only one reason I'm here in glory. That's to become champion and to face and defeat Artem Bahitov. Getting a little restless. Yeah, no one's really taking advantage yet. Playing the distance game. Scoring as many points as possible, but a lot of good body kicks back and forth. With the open stance here, opens up the, the left kick for Tavares, right for Gorla. It's the only fight we've seen tonight where you don't have to worry about fighting again later. Just three rounds for these guys. 30 seconds to go in the first. Very even round so far. 
Tavares now going back to his orthodox stance. A quick little uppercut from Tavares, but he eats a left hook and another one. Yeah, he's rocked. He's rocked here. Oh, that left hook landed. And the bell coming at the right time for Luis Tavares. Good round there for the Latvian. Yeah, absolutely. It was a very close round, but with that almost knockdown, you got to give that advantage now to Gorlov. Absolutely. Yeah, it comes to the damage inflicted, and that was the most damaging shot of that round. Here's our fighter profile. We'll start with the infamous. Says he's an intelligent fighter with a unique ability to read his opponent. His parents immigrated from Cape Verde, one of the great tropical destinations over here near Europe, just off the western coast of Africa. And he's won five of his last six fights, including a win over Jafar Wilkes. His opponent, Arthur Gordla from Latvia. Again, Arthur Koshenko in his corner, giving him his advice. His career highlights is winning the WKN world title. Also said it, his second favorite win was beating the kid who stole his bicycle when he was young. Would have liked to see footage of that. Round two of three, and Tavares needs to get busy here. Yep, four to the five, giving it to Gorloff. What a blow this would be to his confidence and his momentum. He wanted the best of the best. He wants a shot at the title, but he's got to get past Gorlov. Yep, nice slip counter low kick. There is a welt on the body underneath the left arm of Gorlov. Great step back. Tavares landing more strikes, Be but the more powerful ones landed came from Gorlov. Yeah, they're matching each other when it comes to, to output. Tavares actually, according to fight metrics, is the more active fighter by 10 strikes and landing about 15 more strikes. But it's all about damage. Nice body kick from Tavares. Back to the southpaw, always switching his stances, Tavares. And exchange body shots. Double left kick from Gorlov. Tavares just can't seem to find a way in, Joe. A lot of good power, though. Good combination work. It's an extremely technical fight. Yeah. Seems like Gorlov's blocking most of Tavares' strikes, whether they're kicks or punches, like those two. Yeah, both are great boxers. Both have good kicks mixed as well. It's a really evenly matched fight. This would be the biggest win of Gorlov's career, for sure. Yeah, especially with a lot of attention that Tavares is getting in with his new signing with Glory. Break, step back. Step back. Right. Oh, when, asked, when we asked Tavares what he thought of Gorlov, he says he's a good technical fighter, but one-dimensional in his eyes. He fights behind the jab, moves in a straight line, one tempo. But doing a good job. Won that first round. Sometimes that one tempo is the best tempo. Rick, the back. Tavares felt the back. that he does, or right. does everything better than Korloff. So far, that has not been the case, Joseph. Nope, he's just matching everything Tavares has. No one's really taking advantage, but it's whoever lands the power shot in these rounds and who's doing the damage with those power shots is going to steal it. Because right now, it's, it's razor close. Whoa, Oy. again with the Matrix move, Tavares. This crowd wants to see more from their local heroes. I don't know, Joe, another close one. Yeah, this one's even uh, harder to score. I mean, both had some good moments. You know, if I, if I was had to pick maybe a slight edge to Tavares being the more active fighter, but I mean, you can look at it the other way as well very easily. Well, we will know that answer in a minute because we do have open scoring tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, pre-sale begins on Monday, 9 a.m. Central Time, glorykickboxing.com, making its first visit 
to the great state of Texas. We'll be in Houston February 1st at the Arena Theater. Early access and a 10% discount on tickets. So you're in, if you're in America, you got plenty of time to travel and plan your trip to great Houston. I've been there many times. One of the finest cities in the country, Joe. I have not been yet, but you promised me good meat and cornbread. <laughs> yeah, so. I did. Third and final round, Luis Tavares, Artur Gorloff, light heavyweight division. Yeah, I'm predicting uh, judges having it split. Three rounds giving it, three judges giving it to Tavares, two to Gorloff, so that means Tavares could still win this fight. He's got to win the third round. In fact, both men need to. Yep, comes down to this round. Strikes landed 49 for Tavares, 37 for Gorloff, who's been much more accurate, as you can see. Gorloff's bringing some good pressure, too. He's not backing up. He's staying right in Tavares' face. Is this round just going to come down to who is more active? I think so. I mean, they, they keep going back and forth, kind of matching each other. If one guy lands a body kick, the other throws a body kick. If one throws a two-punch combination, the other throws. So they're really matching themselves with output. Well, that's sort of the Dutch style, right? I'll hit you for a second, then you hit me. Yeah, combo back and forth. But none of them have really had the opportunity to gain momentum. Now Tabar showing you some of his slick boxing skills. He got some blood coming down from Gorloff's nose. He has ducked that high kick at least five times. Yeah. When someone dips that way, you got to change it up. You got to kick the legs. The legs don't move. There he tries there. As soon as he moves his head back, it means his legs forward. That's the perfect time for a nice hard low kick. Good counter left hook from Gorloff. But Tavares getting a little bit more comfortable, trying to put some combinations together. Look at those head kicks. Gorloff's tried 18 of them, only landed one. And those are tiring shots to throw. Yeah, but Gorlov's got some great conditioning. He hasn't seemed to slow down. Same with Tavares. He's having to move a little bit more, but he is throwing his combinations back. back. And Tavares being the more active fighter. Good body kick there from Gorlov. Tavares might be throwing more, but the pressure could be scoring well for Gorlov. And blood now pouring out of the nostrils of Gorlov. You gotta think is that damage points for the for the judges. Tavares circling. Bring control from Gorlov. What do you think about a fighter circling to the power hand of their opponent, like Tavares was doing there? Well, he's, I mean, I, I've seen Gorlov land some good left hooks as well, so I think he's just dangerous in both hands. Ten seconds to go. High oh. kick just misses from Tavares. Oh, good right hand from Tavares in that mid-range. Be careful. So a close round ah. three. Who gets it done? They both raise their hand as if they believe they've won it, Joe. What do you think? Well, I mean, if I'm going by the scoring criteria, I'm going down to number five. It's going to take all five, and I think it's the aggression. So I think Gorloff coming forward, you know, edged slightly for me. The official judge's decision, plus our final of the eight-man heavyweight tournament still to come from Rotterdam. The moment is, moment is almost upon us. We go backstage for a final report from Mark Schaub. Yes, let's see if the fighters are ready for the final. In the black corner behind me, Jamal Ben Sadiq. He looks ready and he's going to fight against Benjamin Adekbuyi. This is the fight that a lot of people predicted. The number one of the ranking against the number two. Both really experienced fighters and as you can see, Benjamin is ready as well. Now the funny thing is that they've never fought each other, so this will be a first time. Who will be the winner of the Glory 62 tournament? We'll see in a couple of minutes. 
We welcome you back, Glory 62 here in Rotterdam as we see our Glory highlights from this fight, Joe, and it was very close. Yeah, close fight, really technical from both guys. I mean, we think Luis Tavares was supposed to come out here and blow Gorlov out of the water, but Gorlov did a good job attacking, pressing the pace, trying to keep Tavares against the ropes, countering back with everything. Tavares was the busier fighter, landed more and threw more, but he was throwing it on his back feet. So that's where the aggression points for Gorlov could play in his favor. Pretty even totals here. Tavares 73 of 157. Gorlov 63 of 145. Punches, the edge goes to Luis. Kicks, the edge to Gorlov. Tim Hughes has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 30-27, Gorlov. 30-27, Tavares. 30-27, Gorlov. 29-28, Tavares. And our fifth and final judge sees the bout 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Luis Tavares! Mixed reaction from this crowd. It's amazing that one judge, what two judges saw, 30-27 yeah. for the Latvian. Yeah, on both sides, I mean, I, regardless, it was a close fight, and I mean, you got to give Gorlov a lot of good credit coming into Tavares' hometown and putting in a performance like that. So you can't really call Gorlov a loser in this one.